And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. It was an absolutely gorgeous weekend with temperatures in the 70s, the 80s, plenty of sunshine. Now we look ahead to the forecast. We're talking plenty of chances of rainfall, but those well above average temperatures are expected to remain across the viewing area in the coming days. As of this morning, check out our precision tracker radar. Scattered showers, thunderstorms rolling into the viewing area ahead of our next round of low pressure and a cold front. Now traversing the region. Notice the pop up showers and storms across our far northern portion of the viewing area. Newton, Jasper, Pulaski, now Benton County beginning to see some light rainfall throughout the viewing area. Let's get a better look at those storms. Some of the heaviest just west of Egypt, just east of Ketland at this time, just southeast of Rensselaer. Those three cells all rolling due eastward. We'll continue to see some heavy rainfall out of those, maybe even some strikes of lightning here and there throughout the viewing area over the next couple of hours as far as our southern counties go. A few light showers passing just east of Attica, now moving in to Tippecanoe County at this point. We'll continue to see isolated rain chances throughout the morning with a better chance of rain extending into the early afternoon hours later on. 62 degrees, your current temperature in in Burlington, 64, Monticello, 65, stepping out the door in Kentland. Here in Lafayette, we're dealing with the temperature now 62 degrees. Look at the southwesterly winds. We could see those gusts as high as 25 miles per hour later in the today, helping the boost temperatures back up into those upper 70s, low 80s. So not only are we looking at the well above average temperatures later on today, but an active pattern settling in across the viewing area in the coming seven days bringing multiple rounds of rainfall and those above average temperatures sticking around for at least the next week or so. So the reason today we're seeing the scattered rainfall, a cold front sweeping across the much of the Midwest over the next 24 hours, bringing rain chances, scattered showers, thunderstorms back to the viewing area. That frontal boundary stalls out and becomes a warm front shifting northward during the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning before we see more chances of rainfall for tomorrow as well. We'll hit a temperature of 72 degrees by your lunch hour, 79 by 5 p.m. here in Lafayette. Other portions of the viewing area, 78 degrees in Romney this afternoon, 79 Logansport. We'll reach 81 degrees in Crawfordsville later this afternoon. Overnight lows do dip back down into the upper 50s, low 60s. We'll drop to 59 degrees in Kentland, 60 degrees Winnemac, 59 your overnight low temperature in Crawfordsville tonight into early tomorrow morning. There's your start out frontal boundary that will sink southward throughout the day tomorrow, bringing additional chances of scattered showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms back to the viewing area later on today. Temperatures will be warming up to 80 degrees for tomorrow afternoon, 81 in Crawfordsville. Once again, a brief dry period moves in for Wednesday and Thursday before scattered showers and thunderstorms roll into the viewing area. Once again on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, scattered showers and thunderstorms those days. Chris to Alex, the average high temperature for this time of the year, 69 degrees. We'll be reaching at least 79 each and every day over the next seven here in Lafayette. So 10 to 15 degree above average temperatures for the next seven days alone. It's been quite a time, uh, quite a while since the last time we saw temperatures in the 80s across the board. I almost forgot yeah. what it felt like. 80 degree temperatures. It's, it's well, these temperatures that we'll be dealing with feel more like the beginning of June rather than the beginning of May. So pretty warm conditions going ahead, pretty stormy conditions at that as well. Have that in real handy. All right, Kim, thanks so much.